The camera captures images on a special plastic film, which has been coated with light-sensitive silver halide, to make it sensitive to light. Processing the film in various chemicals, known as developing the film, produces either negatives or transparencies. This is the diaphragm. On more sophisticated cameras, the diaphragm can be adjusted to create a larger or smaller opening for the light to enter. We're all familiar with the lens. The lens consists of a number of layers of glass specially constructed to focus the light which enters the camera onto the film. The viewfinder enables the photographer to see which image the camera will capture. When the release button is pressed, the shutter opens for a fraction of a second. In some cameras, it can be as little as one two thousandth of a second. In most cameras, it is between one thirtieth to one sixtieth of a second. This enables the light to enter the camera and the image to be projected upside down onto the film at the rear of the camera. In more sophisticated cameras, the lens can be moved closer or further away from the film. Changing the distance between the lens and the film changes the focus of the camera. A lens which can be moved in this way is called a zoom lens. In many modern cameras, the distance between the camera and the object to be photographed is measured by an infrared or ultrasonic wave emitted by the camera. The lens is then focused automatically.